Recipes for technical trading success in Cook's Kitchen. Hey everybody, Cooker here, and I want to talk about some of my favorite stocks that are in the news big time this week. Let's start with the CRISPR gang. And I was just musing on Twitter a couple weeks ago, when are these two women going to get recognition for what they did with CRISPR? Uh, CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Um, that's the genetic scissors, and and uh, they won the Nobel. This is from uh, BBC right here. This is Emmanuel Charpentier. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her French name accurately, uh, and Jennifer Doudna. Uh, they collaborated in 2011, and so they win. They are awarded the 2020 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for developing the tools to edit DNA with CRISPR. Um, you can find other articles. I I think on my Twitter feed here I posted. Um, Here's the Nature article. Again, uh, Jennifer Doudna on the left here, Emmanuel Charpentier on the right. Uh, fantastic story. Um, you know, I've been, oh, I've owned these all three of the major CRISPR stocks for years, uh, and have traded them. In fact, uh, you know, if you go to, I'll, I'll show you a recent video I did on this. But um, here's our Zach's investment research page on YouTube, um, and you can find all my stuff if you just, if you just click on videos then it sorts them um, chrono, uh, by most recent. Uh, last week, I did seven diagnostic and genomic stocks. So, uh, you know, Qdel, Illumina, Invitae, Natera in there. Uh, recently did a thing on Microsoft paying $7.5 billion for uh, the Bethesda family of games. And I also just did a podcast where I inter interviewed a gamer. Since I'm not a gamer, I wanted to get some outside perspective. So I interviewed our own Dave Bartosiak. Let's see where we can see the bearded wonder on here. There he is. There's Dave, longtime gamer, <laughs> great guy, funny guy. And uh, he gave us a lot of insight, too. And, um, if you find my podcast on Mind Over Money. Uh, recently talked about NVIDIA. NVIDIA strikes an arms deal to take all the chips, buying uh, arm holdings from SoftBank for about $40 billion. I think it's a steal for them if, if they get past all the country regulators and customers and competitors that want to fight the deal. Ah, here we go. Back to, uh, so this was sometime in September. I said, CRISPR stocks, buy or trade. And I talked about how I've owned uh, Editas and Intellia for some time, but I've traded uh, CRISPR CRSP and made some good money off it. But the big news, obviously, this week is that uh, for the first time, two women uh, share a Nobel Prize. So pretty exciting there. All right, let's get down to business in some other ways. Other stocks we're going to talk about. Uh, I did the Zach's Confidential Report this week. B big economic deep dive about investing for this decade. We'll come back to that. Um, let's see. This morning's one of my favorite stocks for the past two months here has been Quidel, Q-D-E-L. Um, it collapsed after Abbott introduces a $5 COVID antigen test, but, you know, that was almost, I don't want to call it fake news, but it was, it was not as nearly as damaging as anyone thought. And the stock, we were buyers uh, below 160 and it's up 70% now making new highs today above uh, 275. And I sent my subscribers a note this morning. I said, $300 is in sight, but consider your position size. <laughs> um, you know, if you, if, because we owned it in two different portfolios, I told my people, Hey, um, you know, if you've got over a 15% position, consider taking some profits here. So that was exciting, exciting news for QDO. Um, let me show you what is so exciting that was still underestimated even last week after, first of all, the company comes out and said, let me just show you, I wrote this, uh, uh, QDEL warns of massive revenues. That was fun to write. How often does a company warn of massive revenues? I mean, they're going to, they're going to, uh, clobber Q4. I mean, they raised like they almost raised revenue guidance 100 percent for Q4 based on their 15 minute COVID antigen test. And here was the big news that people were ignoring last Friday is that they finally got FDA emergency authorization for their rapid antigen test. They call it an ABC test because it's it it's a uh, diagnostic for influenza A and B and COVID, thus the ABC. So that's exciting news there. All right, let's go check out this Zach's Confidential I did where I made the, the strong case for a roaring 20s bull market. 
uh, based on demographics and family formation. Um, you know, what's the marriage trend? People getting married later, 80 million millennials um, are yet to form families or, you know, a good chunk of them, right? And it's not, you know, this is all about averages. Uh, this is a good chart from Bank of America. They see, they project 14% growth, you know, from roughly 2019 to 2029 in this cohort, age 35 to 44, coming into their prime earning, spending, and family years. Uh, I based a lot of my work on my colleague Tracy Reinick's uh, fanatical research over real estate and the housing market. She just does a fantastic job. I've seen a couple presentations by her. This is a slide of hers. Um, and, you know, the housing boom of 2020, she calls it like the, the secret bull market. But, you know, I think it lasts much longer. Uh, because of what we just talked about with family formation coming. And um, I also shared a little bit of my recent podcast with Chad Willardson, uh, his new book, Stress-Free Money. And we talked about how investors need to avoid financial fast food and really have a long-term plan. So I went out on a limb here and I said, hey, here are three stocks for the Roaring Twenties, you know, technology disruptive platforms, uh, Square, the Trade Desk and Shopify. Hey, they're not cheap right now, but you want to, you know, I've been recommending them for, you know, a couple of years now and buy the pullbacks when you get them. Um, and, you know, ten, five, 10 years from now, if you, if you bought them right here, you may suffer some drawdown, but then you want to add because five, 10 years from now, these stocks are going to be much higher. They're, they're just monster franchises that are growing. I call Square the Apple of FinTech. I call the Trade Desk the CME of advertising. All right. I want to share another. Uh, sort of view on this from my buddy Howard Lindzen, uh, the creator of StockTwits. He just did a great interview with Jeff Richards, a VC um, of GGG, GGG Ventures, uh, about a $6 billion VC fund. And this guy it knows his stuff. And so Howard wanted to talk to him. And I love the title of this. Um, the reboot of the U.S. economy will be built around small business. The small business reboot will be built on technology. Sort of the same themes that I just talked about, about why you want to own Square, the Trade Desk, um, and Shopify, as small business has to adapt to the virtual, digital, remote, uh, intelligent economy. Howard used to call his show, uh, his, his interview and podcast show, he used to call it uh, Panic with Friends during uh, March and April when a lot of investors were panicking. Now he calls it Investing for, joy, for Profit and Joy. I love that. But um, if you get to know um, Jeff Richards here, and so you can find this on YouTube. Um, here it is on YouTube. And then he's, uh, Howard's also got the, uh, at howardlinson.com, he's also got the, the video embedded right here. Uh, looks like this guy was an early investor in Airbnb and Etsy. And he's taught, great summary here. He's talking about how small businesses will depend on a technology stack and how that's good for technology investors. Uh, so really good stuff there. You want to check out. All right. Who else do I want to talk about? Obviously I want to talk about Nvidia, one of my all time favorite stocks. Um, big news after their GPU tech conference, um, it, uh, Needham who already has like the street high price target of $700 on Nvidia said they think that the data center TAM, total addressable market, is going to double to $100 billion. And NVIDIA is, just has such, I don't want to say they have a moat, but they just got a, um, you know, a killer franchise um, in that hardware, that high-speed uh, exascale uh, data center hardware. And, um, and you know, it's just, uh, just a stock you want to continue to, to own and accumulate. And, and buy the dips on. Um, and there's a lot of great news. So JP Morgan ups their target to 605. They say NVIDIA is one or two steps ahead of the competitors. Here's some headlines from the fly.com. Uh, UBS, same thing. NVIDIA, many years ahead of any competitor. <laughs> so that's always good to see if you're an, an NVIDIA investor. Um, and I mean, those, those are the key headlines there for NVIDIA. I, uh, we own it in Taser and, and we'll continue to own it. Now I want to talk about um, another favorite stock, and that's Alteryx, where uh, you know, we're enjoying 
I said <laughs> last night, I said, Alteryx soars like Archaeopteryx. A little play on words there. But uh, stock was up 28% yesterday because, first of all, it got it got knocked down. It ran too high. It ran too hot. It went up to 180 bucks. Then um, uh, they had a disappointing quarter and did not have po really positive guidance. And so they cratered the stock down to 120. We bought it. I said, this is going to come back. Um, and sure enough, they pre-announced revenues last night along with a a scheduled management change. Uh, and um, But basically, um, Q3 revenue is going to come in, say, $127 million versus the previous guide of $113 million. You got to like that. We're back above 20% growth. So whatever the, the, uh, uh, the CEO's hesitation a couple of months ago where he didn't want to sound too optimistic. He didn't want to sound like, hey, business is really good. He just wanted to say, we're still dealing with a uh, pandemic here. And this is, Alteryx is a, is a data miner and modeler, like a Splunk. You know, they're, they're an engine for uh, searching your data and analyzing it. And so they're not, the, they're not the work at home play, like a Zoom or, you know, Square or, you know, um, a lot of these other uh, software companies we talk about uh, or Shopify. It's, you know, it's more for corporations and the what they call the citizen data scientist, the person who doesn't have necessarily professional data training, but they can use a platform like Alteryx to mine and model their data, find it, clean it, prep it, and make use of it. And all this dark data that's just pouring into corporations. Um, so that, uh, and look at City, City liked the, <laughs> the revenue guide so much, you know, they never came down from their 100, 180 uh, price target. So uh, Tyler Radke is like, listen, I, I'm going up there with Goldman above 200 on this and just calling it uh, 213. So we will continue to own and accumulate uh, Alteryx. Let's see who I'm leaving out of this discussion. Oh, uh, Elastic, uh, ESTC, um, is a is sort of a is similar space as Alteryx, a, a data engine, analytics engine, but they specialize in the search aspect. So they're like the little Google of data mining and modeling. And we also own that. All right, who else do I want to look at here? Oh, I'll ask Splunk. And, uh, oh, and, and the CRISPR stocks, you know, the I didn't mention all three of them, but I should. Um, you know, you're talking about, you're talking about uh, Elastic. I mean, I'm sorry, you're talking about uh, NTLA, Intellia Therapeutics, NTLA, and then Editas, uh, E-D-I-T. So I just wanted to mention those tickers. Um, as you know, as the ones we, I, I actually own both Intellia and Editas right now. We just took 70% gains on CRISPR above a hundred bucks uh, a couple of months ago. I was looking for a spot to get back in um, around 80, and we, it looks like we just missed it. <laughs> so you know that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, talked about the CRISPR stocks, Nvidia, Quidel, uh, Alteryx, and other data miners and modelers. Um, Square, Shopify, uh, all that good stuff. And um, if you want a copy of this report that I did, um, where I give the rationale for you know uh, a great bull market that could continue here in the roaring 20s, just email ultimate at zax.com and ask for this recent Zax Confidential I did, Demographics and Economics, a strong case for the roaring 20s bull market. All right, take care and we'll talk to you next week.